Fire 3 has begun filming and we just got our first set photos. Let's talk a little bit about them. What is up everybody? Welcome to the Killjoy Jake YouTube channel. My name is Ted. And real quick before we get into this update, I'm gonna do that really annoying YouTuber thing where I ask you to subscribe, but it's for good reason. I'm currently 50 people away from hitting 22,000 subscribers right now, and that would be pretty cool if y'all just hit that little red button. All right, but getting into today's Terrifier 3 update, I wanna cover some of the things that have been made public via the Instagram and Facebook accounts of some of the people involved with this upcoming movie. We've gotten some interesting behind the scenes pictures and some comments from these fellas that have me fear Horizon. A little while back now, Damien Leone posted a picture of what Art the Clown will look like in Terrifier 3. It's weird seeing this guy not covered in blood or guts. The only big difference I've been able to spot here is that the eyes are a little different versus the more like colorful ones that we got in the last movie. It almost looks like how Art the Clown did in Terrifier 1 specifically. This works really well with what Damien Leone has said about the film, trying to make it scary again and less silly, like how the last one was. I mean, Terrifier 2 was definitely a little scary, but you're telling me you weren't laughing during the the bedroom scene? Uh, oh, that was just me, huh? We've gotten a plethora of behind the scenes photos and any one of these could be sets that they're potentially using for Terrifier 3 as well. There's one that looks like they're in a warehouse, but that could just be, you know, like behind the scenes, not exactly where they're filming. But then there's this one with Michael Levy and Phil Falcone and in the background, it looks like there's some kind of like pillar with maybe like foliage hanging off of it. Is Art the Clown pulling an Indiana Jones on us and going to like a lost city in the middle of a jungle? <laughs> that might be nothing. I might just be seeing things, but that to me looks like a temple run pillar. If if I've ever seen one. Can you tell I desperately want a little shred of information about what's going on with Terrifier 3? Just a little bit. But the most exciting news we've gotten for Terrifier 3 recently is that Lauren Levera is on set filming for it. Michael Levy posted this picture with Lauren saying, funny seeing you here. And then Lauren herself even posted a picture of Sienna with the caption, she's back. To clarify, that is a shot specifically from Terrifier 2, not from Terrifier 3. Actually, come to think of it, we've yet to see what Sienna is going to look like in Terrifier 3. Now, this does raise some questions about the character of Sienna in this next movie, will she be wearing the same iconic costume from the previous film? It wouldn't really make sense for her to wear the angel costume here, right? But it also kind of works with her character, so that's what I'm like back and forth on here. She was wearing the battle angel armor in the previous film because it was Halloween night and it was her banging costume. It was easily the coolest costume in the movie too. Now that Christmas time has come to Miles County, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, right? Now that we know that there's something supernatural going on with Sienna's character, maybe she can just like Shazam herself and then bam, she's like in the costume again to fight Art the Clown. <laughs> I know a lot of folks out there want to see less Supernatural in Terrifier 3, but I feel like that can of worms is already cracked open. And speaking of Lauren Lavera and Damien Leone, we had some very interesting comments come from them underneath one of Damien's most recent posts. Underneath the post of that picture of Art the Clown I was talking about earlier, Lauren Lavera says he sees you when you're sleeping. Talking about Artie Claws right there. But underneath that, Damien Leone replied with some emojis that I found very interesting. It's two eyes and then a freezing emoji, like a brr. Now, once again, this could be absolutely nothing, but I just like to speculate and come up with crazy theories. Could this be in reference to possibly somebody's eyes freezing out of their skull and Art the Clown ripping them out? Could you see like Art the Clown cutting off somebody's eyelids and then like pouring water into them outside so that they like freeze and then he like yanks them out? Think like Jason X with the liquid nitrogen, something similar to that. While that may be a total stretch, I do think that Art the Clown will utilize this time of year to score some nasty kills. Like, I'm not gonna be surprised if Art the Clown yanks an icicle off of a roof or something and starts stabbing someone in the face with it. All I'm saying is that there's a lot you can do here that you weren't able to do in the previous film. I'm betting they take advantage of that. Filming has only just begun for Terrifier 3 though, so I imagine by the time this all wraps up, we'll have an even more exciting update. So keep your eyes peeled because I'm sure something interesting is coming real soon. Do you think that Art the Clown will score some kind of winter-themed kill in this threequel? And are you excited for Terrifier? three as well. Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this brand new Terrifier 3 update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content in the future. Please consider supporting me on Patreon by clicking that link in the description below. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.